Hello everybody, welcome back to a new Replicant. In the previous episode we found two more fragments, that would be four out of five in total. So the first fragment we did find in the area after a terrible event, actually it was a true disaster. Um, Emil's power kind of got out of control, not because of him, because he is a weapon, he was designed as a weapon, the experiments they did on him, it was not in his control at that moment, unfortunately. But due to that, due to his full power getting unleashed, the entire area was destroyed. One of the saddest moments for me in this game, and this game had a lot of sad moments, so that's saying a lot. Uh, yeah, but now we will try to move on and find the fifth fragment because Yona still needs us. Let's get into it. Maybe Popol has found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Very well. Okay, so this is our next destination, going back to the village. Let's go. Hello, Popola. Hey, Popola. Ah, you're back. Have you learned anything more about the Shadow Lord's key? I'm sorry, but it's going to take me some time yet. Oh. I see. Well, can I take something off your plate in the meantime? Hmm. Oh, how about this? You know the ferryman with the red bag, right? The ferryman with the red well, bag? he's been skipping out on work lately. Can I ask you to go to Seafront and check on him? Sure okay. Thing. So, we have a new job, let's do that. Um, that is not helpful in terms of the Shadow Lord, but one step at a time, I guess. All right, we are at Seafront. There his wife, oh right? God, it's over. Yeah, My the woman with the over. red bag. She's his wife. What's wrong? Oh, hey, I remember you. You're the ones who helped us out way back when. That's us. Seeing as we've come all this way, I suppose we had best ask, what is the matter? I had a fight with my husband and... Well, I'm not surprised. Mm-hmm, <laughs> yes, yes. You may color me utterly flabbergasted. <laughs> but it's all that idiot's fault. Is it? I was saving up a bunch of apples, and he went and ate ten of them. He has an issue, this one. He's always eating their apples. That's... actually sort of impressive. Well, sure, I, I may have lost my temper a little, but... I can't believe he just up and left. He's been gone for a week now and it's... They always fight over the <laughs> dumbest reasons. They are the weirdest couple I've ever encountered in a video game. All right, all right. We'll help you find him. But yeah, let's help. <laughs> really? That's what we can do. Oh, thank you so much. Of course. Uh, how do we help? I guess and we try to find him. Again. Gather information at the bar in Seafront. Gotcha. Shall we begin by asking around at the tavern like before? Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> this is... It's kind of amusing. Hey there. I'm looking for the guy with the red bag. Really? Is that couple fighting again? You really that surprised? Yeah, the guy took off and hasn't been seen since. I... Hardly. Their arguments are legendary. We're actually <laughs> considering selling tickets as a tourist attraction. <laughs> I... I can get that. Anyway, I think he's from that village with the library? Maybe he went back home. From that village with the library? That's our village. I think his brother is a guard there or something. Really? Thanks for the tip. I'll see what I can figure out. So I guess we're heading back to our village. Say, you're pretty handsome. <laughs> She's hitting on yeah, us again. She did that the last time. Drink. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> He's always uh, ghosting her. Okay. To think that couple's petty squabbles have become something of an attraction for the locals. <laughs> doesn't surprise me in the least. Some yeah, people like me that neither. A little spring in your step, you know. You they are the comical are relief. Such buffoonery does little more than wear this old tome out. I was waiting for the dialogue to be completed before I continue. Now let's go to the village. Oh, maybe you know something? Oh, hey, it's you. Is his brother? 
You're related to the ferryman who carries a red bag around, right? Yeah. He's my yeah, little brother. Yeah, that's him. And a shame. Have you any idea where he may have absconded to? Not a clue. Like I said, I haven't seen him. Oh, mm. that's unfortunate. I hope he's okay now. Nobody sees him. Oh, but the last time I did see him, he said something about using his ferry to deliver letters. Maybe you should try talking to someone at the post office. I huh. guess we could ask the postman over in Seafront. Just once, I would enjoy receiving a quest that can be sold in the general vicinity of the Asuka. <laughs> that was my thought exactly. Like, we're doing a lot of back and forth. Seafront, village, village, seafront, so... Uh, I guess uh, we're going back now. Oh my god. Back to seafront. I cannot believe how many trips we have made simply to track down a single man. It's all right <laughs> to do this kind of thing every now and then. I only pray this is not the calm before some manner of storm. You say mm, there, lad, interesting you thought, Vice. A missive? You mean a letter? No, I'm not big on writing. It always takes me forever to figure out what I want to say. What's to figure out? One simply takes Quill in hand and unleashes their soul upon the canvas of the page. I love how the Everything dialogue saves. won't cut when you're going through loading screens. It's kind of awesome, actually. Uh, wait a minute, the post office. Uh, where is that? I forgot. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Did some side questions there. So, from here. There you go. Hello. Hey, postman. Oh, sorry. You're not here. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. I'm sure as hell not. Sorry, I won't sing again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just swung by to pick up a letter and wound up running the damn place. Anyway, All right. You here for a package or something? Uh, no. There's this couple who's always fighting, and the husband took off. So I'm trying to track him down. Ring any yeah. bells? <laughs> sorry, pal. You're asking the wrong guy. Shoot. Still. That's pretty weird. My buddy's daughter took off too. Maybe running away is the cool thing to do now. I find really? it exceedingly unlikely this pair of runaways is mere coincidence. Yeah, I agree. Any idea where she might have went? That is the question, isn't it? Actually, you know what? Oh boy. I bet she, she wants doesn't to check know. out the huge shipwreck that drifted into the inlet the other day. Oh, Not okay. Often something like that comes around. It's all the kids have been talking about. So, interesting. When I was doing some side quests before, I'm, do I'm doing those off camera. Yeah, I, I saw that shipwreck we well while exploring Seafront. So, means. let's go see it. Right. Let's head for the inlet. Kaine. Emil. You're in the village. It's, it's actually making me happy because they never go in. What's going on? I haven't seen you two come into Seafront in, well, ever, I guess. Unless they came because there's fighting needs to get started now? Sorry for the surprise. That's a good surprise, unless there are bad news you want to tell me. Kaine said she sensed something strange in the area. Yeah, I sense a fighting coming. Strange how? Like a shade? Maybe. I'm not sure. Alright. There's some kind of sound or something coming from up ahead. What an incredibly specific piece of information the hussy has graced us with. <laughs> the hussy calls her. That vice. What is it, Kaine? Nothing. Let's get moving. Alright, let's go. Interesting. The beach shipwreck. All right. That's pretty amazing view, isn't it? We're gonna need to figure out some way to get inside that thing. Mm, this yeah. ship is in a state of want and decay. Surely we can find a hole or some such if we put our minds to it. These planks seem to be covering a rather large hole. 
Uh huh. We can probably get in if we move him out of the way. I'm worried about whatever it is Kaine is sensing. We should make sure we're really prepared before going inside. Go inside. So before I go inside, I want to buy Let's some medicinal sure medicinal first. herb because I only have one, and this is sounds kind of dramatic. So yeah, let's get some medicinal herb. Let's be ready for that. Whatever it is, sounds dramatic enough. We'll be right here waiting. So they not really getting inside the front, but just on the shore. Let's start. Um, do you sell medicinal herbs? Sorry, my stock's so low. Yeah, thank you. All right, now I'm ready. See you soon. Let's go defeat someone who is causing trouble, I guess. Here you go. in poor condition indeed. Do try not to thrash about and bring its timbers down around us, hussy. Whatever. <laughs> I like how indifferent she is. Like, whatever. <laughs> you okay? You sure you're alright, Kanye? You really shouldn't push yourself. Yeah. Hey, I've got an idea. How about you and me search outside and get some nice fresh air in the process? Sure. Let's do that. Sounds good. Take care of Kaine for us, Emil. Emil is on the case. Come on, Kaine. Let's I love those guys off. so much. They are the best. Kaine and Emil. This place is pretty The best gloomy. companions out there. I'm having a hard time imagining any townsfolk hanging around here. Well, as we've no other leads, let the search begin. Yep. I cannot use my weapon to open this crate? That's sad. Oh, what is Look that? There, on the floor. I believe we have found ourselves a lantern. And there's still some oil in it. Nice. I like the sound of that. Oh, I saw a girl. Little girl. Wait, did you see that girl just now? I did indeed. How on earth did she manage to get behind us? Perhaps she is the runaway we heard tell of at the post Perhaps, office. perhaps. Best track her down and take her back to town with us. Good thing we found the lantern. Hmm? There's no one here. Interesting. Weird. It's like we just saw a ghost. Yeah, that's what oh, crossed my mind right now. I am certain this room merely contains a secret passageway or the like. Interesting. Hold key. Nice. What is with this ship anyway? There may be clues somewhere that tell of how it ran aground. Okay, I needed the key for this door. Nice. Dark up ahead. Then perhaps we ought to make use of that lantern we just found, hmm? Duh. <laughs> That's how you got it. What is that? What's this? An apple. It's a bit oh. bruised, but it's not super old or anything. I wager it was dropped by that fruit-loving ferryman. Exactly. We're making progress. Perhaps he absconded to this ship to wait out the storm after yet another spirited debate with his wife. Mm. Oh, goodness, what a troublesome couple. Yeah. Let's keep moving. Yeah, let's do that. What's that noise? Oh, what was that sound just now? Spooky. It sounds like it came from the floor above us. Here we go. This barrel's been knocked over, and there's flour everywhere. Surely it was toppled by the girl we saw at the entrance. 
Wait. Cast your eyes to the floor, lad. Aha, uh -huh, footsteps. The missing child left white tracks in her passing. Should we follow them, I expect we will find our way to her. Yeah, makes sense. Before I follow her, what's in this door? Just curious. Man, this book's got some serious heft to it. I wonder what it's for. It would seem to be this ship's logbook. Let us avail ourselves of a gander. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Records of the routes it traveled, the weather it encountered, and the places it made port. All in a painstaking level of detail. I would expect no less for a vessel of this size. Until the day the records suddenly cease. What hmm. the hell happened on this ship? Interesting. We've no time to stand about deciphering a logbook. Let us move on. Definitely something bad happened. Otherwise he would not crash on the shore. And I think there are ghosts inside. Something is very spooky about this. Uh, where to first? Let's start from here. The oh, so it's locked. On the wall lead in the direction of this door. So she's That's here. Weird. How is it locked if the girl just used it? She's a ghost. Well, she's actually. I demand you cease your interminable chatter about <laughs> ghosts at once. The simplest explanation is that she locked the door from the other side. I didn't even say anything yet. In any case, if we want to use the door, we'll have to find a key. Is Vice scared? Oh, money! There's a breeze coming through these shelves. That white vase is rather conspicuous. Try giving it a nudge. Of course, let's try. Uh -huh. Aha! Room. How delightful! <laughs> First uh, thing before we go in, what hey, is that? There's a notebook on this desk. Oh wow, this thing is crammed full of information. Ooh. A record of the cargo they carried, no doubt. Let me see. By my pages, this ship was used by slavers. How simply atrocious. Oh. Wait, you're telling me they sold people? Oh my god. And made out quite handsomely from the transactions, it would seem. How could they do something like that? I do not know, nor do I care to ponder it. Let it suffice to say there are monsters who trade coin for misery in all corners of this accursed world. Oh boy. That's bad. These chests are pretty huge. And what do they contain? Treasure, perhaps? I wish. Looks like a bunch of iron tools. Sounds They're handy. No mere tools, lad. They are instruments of torture. Oh god. This is terrible, guys. Really sad. I shudder to think what evil transpired in this room. Yeah. This ship holds many secrets best left unknown. This ship... The exit looks walled off. And I think there's something written on it? And in blood, no less. The smudging makes it difficult to pass, but I believe it reads, let me out. Wow, this is so sad. This is terrible. No doubt they can find their human cargo in this room. That's terrible. Yeah. We may be able to pass through here should we push the shelves in the outer passageway. We cannot pass through here unless we first move those accursed shelves. What shelves? We cannot change the grim truth of this ship, lad. So let us instead focus on what we might accomplish in the here and now. So, where are the shelves he talked about? I'm confused. Those shelves, These okay. These shelves are blocking the exit of that secret room from before. Can they be moved? Only one way to find out. Yep.
Absolutely, they can. What is that? Oh, the passageway key. We're making progress. All right. There don't seem to be any shades around, at least. Fortunate for us. For now, I'll at let least. No more time be wasted in our search for the townsfolk. All right, all right. Here we go. The white tracks end here. Oh. Wait, you went down the ladder, maybe? Something. What? What is that sound? So, the ladder first or here first? Let's try this one first. Oh, that makes the sound. What? Whatever that sound was, it stopped. I swear it sounded like a girl. It sounded like, like a girl, but she was not speaking regularly. It was strange. This is a voice pipe. A contraption by which one's voice can travel to a faraway location. Maybe that's just how the voice comes out through this thing. Which means the girl is in whatever room this pipe connects to. Hold a moment. I spy a chart of the ship's layout on the wall. Oh? <sighs> yes. This pipe connects to a cabin in the ship's stern. Onward and, uh, inward, I guess. Okay, so... Let's go down. This little lantern has brought us quite far, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And the light it gives off makes me feel, I don't know, safe somehow. A lot yeah, of doors. Aren't we the romantic? <laughs> Let's start by order from this one. Oh, it's wrapped and unusable. It seems this door will not open. Yeah. How about this one? Very the good. Kitchen, is it? Huh, is the pipe. Heavens, look at the size of this saucepan. This must have been where they prepared meals for the crew. Hmm? There's a note stuck to the counter. Extra rice, hold the peppers. Looks like the crew had some say over how they ate. It's very interesting whatever is going on around here. What is the meaning of this quest? <laughs> to be picky about one's food while at sea is a luxury indeed. Hmm. Three medicinal herbs. Too bad I bought so many. <laughs> oh, damn. The hell is this smell? Perhaps Ooh. it is wafting from further inside. What is that? Another apple. Just I think we're apples getting close. Does that quibbling husband keep on his person <laughs> while he's out and about. Let's keep searching. Uh, Ooh. I think the floor is... Ouch. Speak to me, lad. Are you hurt? Uh, been better, but I'll live. I can't see a thing down here. What is that terrible stench? Getting spooky. I suspect we may have fallen into the ship's hold. The lantern got away from me during the fall. That's not we good. Better look for it. Okay, so I'm playing and I cannot Use see anything. That. Oh. Weiss, that's it. We found the lantern. Ah, <sighs> that's good. About time. Might I suggest you cease the celebratory fanfare and light the blasted thing already? Much, much better. Okay. Ooh. Oh dear. Look at the bodies. Whoa, what happened here? Well, the ship did crash. But I think this is not a result of the crash. Something happened before the ship crashed on shore and that what made it crash in the first place obviously it's kind of obvious but what happened they are all people from town 
And I fear the missing ferryman. Yeah. Oh no. Oh man. This can't be real. Why? Why did he? Why did everyone have to? God damn it. Oh boy. Pull yourself together, lad. Remember the presence Kaine sensed? The culprit who murdered these poor folk likely awaits us further within. Yeah, I think you're right, Vice. I won't let think he's right. With this. There is. This is sad, we helped him a lot. He was actually a good guy altogether. Even though he and his wife, well, they had the most silly fight. He was a good man. That is sad. That's enough, lad. Avert your eyes. Oh man, what a mess. Kaina Emil, hey there, you two. it's good to see you. Did we ever? Found a nice hole in the wall to slide through. But then we heard a bunch of noise coming from that super dark floor downstairs. You sure oh. had us worried. Yeah, sorry about that. You feeling better, Kaine? A little, yeah. Sorry for the trouble. No trouble. Good. That's... That's good. Jeez, you seem really down in the dumps. Did something happen? Yeah, something indeed happened. <laughs> Tell me, Kaine, that presence you sensed. It's on the floor above us. I feared as much. It seems we've little choice but to press onward. Let us go. No, what are you doing? Accidentally went down. What's going on over here? There's a bunch of crumpled up paper here. Letters, maybe? They all seem to have the same words written upon them, but the penmanship is so poor I cannot make heads nor tails of it. They seem to be lettered. Okay, too bad. Uh, so yeah, nothing here except that. Okay, so up we go. Let's deal with whatever kind is sensing. Oh, save point, which means something big about to go down, guys. This would be the final room, yes? The culprit who murdered the townspeople may be behind this very door. Let us proceed with utmost caution. I'm ready. Let's do it. The little girl. It's that girl we saw when we first. She looks so ship. scared. Old lad, this is a lone child sitting inside a hulking ship littered with corpses. Something uh, is clearly amiss. That's just a disguise, maybe. What do you think, guys? There. This is what you sense. So maybe she means trouble, and she's not really a little girl. It's a disguise, guys. Could this girl be the presence you sensed, Kaine? Who are you? Oh, hey, it's you. Been a while. Postman? Wait, you're the postman? What are you doing here? What? Oh, I've been coming here a lot lately. I think this girl was on the ship when it drifted in. I've been keeping an eye on her until she's well enough to leave. Hey, so this is kind of awkward, but the girl is, you know, bleeding. I brought a bunch of bandages with me, but, uh, but well, what? How exactly does one deal with a woman's time of the month? Oh, <laughs> so, sorry, sorry, clearly crossed a the line there. Forget I said anything. Stay the hell away from her. She isn't. Yeah. Oh boy. Here we go.
Time to fight, guys. Kaidi, Emil, we'll figure something out. You just find a way to get the hell out of here. All right. Two of them will be fine, but you and I must withdraw. All right, all right. The ship is collapsing. We must leave at once. Very Let's much go. Aware of that. Thanks. Let's go. Ooh, oh my god, here we go. Ooh. Looks like we can get out through that hole up there. Nice. So, we're out. That wasn't that uh, difficult. But where's that girl? That powerful girl. Glad you two made it out in one piece. Yeah, we're good. But that poor postman is still trapped inside. Uh, let's help him. You better go help him out. Yeah. No shade would dare pursue us into sunlight such as this. We should use the opportunity to ready ourselves. <laughs> that is a huge shade. Here we go, guys. Uh, yuck. What on earth? What in the world? Oh boy, guys. This is crazy. Epic and crazy, let's go. Time to fight. Why isn't this shade being hurt by the sun? That is not precisely the case. It most certainly is being burned by the sunlight. However, it's we did nothing to him. What? It's far outpaced whatever damage the light is able to inflict. Uh, I'm scared now. It's light. Something is coming. Get out of the way at once. Oof. I can't believe that little girl was actually this thing. This monstrosity is unlike anything we've faced before. Okay, I have to use physical attacks because magic did not do a lot to it. Let's try again. Wow, it is powerful. It doesn't take a lot of damage. Oh, not good, not good. Ooh. No need to shout. That is rude. Run away. God damn. What a powerful shade. But we're making progress. Yeah, that's what I do. Nice. Focus on the next one. This thing is gonna pay for what it did to those people. The Heck yeah! Grave danger should we leave this creature be. We must end it here and now. There you go. Oh damn! I'm hit. Medicine herbs. No, it's not dealing damage. Gotta go with physical hits. No, not good. Oof. Made it out of the way in time. That's good. Oh my god. Damn. You know what? I want to use... Since the lance doesn't do any damage, let's use the wall instead. Give me some protection. There you go. Now let's fight. Oh, 
No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. All right, bring it. Let's create another defense bubble or something. Don't know how to call it. The wall. <laughs> and here we go. All right, guys. I think we did it. Attack with all that you have. Yes. Finish him. <laughs> Bam! Oh, he took his head off. When I said finish him, I didn't think he will actually perform a fatality Mortal Kombat style, but he did. <laughs> did we get it? I think we did. Uh, maybe not. Holy moly. Oh hell, that thing's huge. She survived. The monster survived. Phase two. I think that's a yes. <laughs> All right, let's go, guys. Oh my God, it's ten times bigger now. What the heck? Could recover from such a grievous wound. Okay, but this time magic. Here it comes. Dodge. Oof. Okay, I think this time magic does work. That is good. Um, lens again. Listen, alarm. And. Let's hit him with all we got! Yes, this time magic works. Oh my god. <laughs> that is an epic boss, guys. Yeah, that is rude. That is so rude. Yeah, reminds me of Sin from Final Fantasy X. I can't see, oh my god. This angle is killing me. Medicine alarm. Fast. That thing ain't normal. So stay smart unless you want to get dead. I needed to use defense there. That was a mistake. Take that! This thing will destroy the town if we don't stop it. We will stop it, come on. Don't talk stupid now. There you go. Uh, oh my god, guys. What is happening? Oh, damn, I'm hit. Not much more medicinal herbs left. Hey, over here! Where? Where are you? Kenny! The postman. This guy's important to you, isn't he? Uh huh. <laughs> Ever since what happened with Yeri, I'm kind of worried that Emil uses everything he's got. But I believe it won't happen again. I'm optimistic. Yes. Question is, is it over? What do you think? He's reattaching. Son of a... Is this thing immortal? How can it withstand such an onslaught? I, I'm really scared, guys. Don't worry, Emil. We will prevail. That unleashes that attack. We must stop it. Come on! Oh, no, 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 no. We're not making it in time. Cover! Take cover! Did I lose? I 
think I lost. I think we're in trouble. Okay, we're not dead yet. Damn it. Let's keep fighting. No, no, no. Get up, get up. Oh my god. Stop, no! Postman. Wow, guys, this is crazy. Oh my god. What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed. <laughs> I don't know about this man. It stopped. Focus on the source of its magic. Aim for the head. Summoning the last of your magic power, you can now press left button to fire Dark Lens. I'm trying. It's not working. We can oh, never there be you together. Go. You disgust me. Wow. What is the relationship between them? She was like his daughter? Wow. It's like you can feel her pain. Wow, this is so creative. And kinda sad. But we did it. We stopped it before it destroyed Seafront, so that is good. That is very good. Wow. This game is something else. It's something else, guys. Every time I'm surprised. Word obtained, Asher Fara, if I'm saying that correctly. Ooh, MP recovery rate by 20%. That's nice. One week later. Thanks. You really saved our bacon. You've all done so much for me. Offering a little refuge is the least I can do. I don't have the words to express how sorry I am. We all knew townspeople were out there being eaten by a shade. So it's been going on for a while? But I never imagined I was taking care of it this entire time. The fault lies with that foul creature alone, Postman. Yeah. Not yourself. What I said. I... I hope I can believe that someday. All right, well, we'd better get going. We need to tell the wife that her husband is dead. The woman with the red bag. It's not gonna be easy, but we gotta do it. There's someone else we need to break this news to. Yeah. Fair enough. I hope to see you out there on the old letter trail again soon. Goodbye. There she is. Hey, did you find my husband? Oh boy, here we go, guys. Uh, yeah. The thing is... Sorry. Wait, why are you hesitating? Is he alright? Please tell me he's alright. Come on, say something already. 
She deserves the truth, even though it's heartbreaking. There's no question here. It's an easy decision. It's not an easy thing to do, but it's an easy choice, I mean, between the two. <sighs> Your husband was killed by a shade. I'm sorry. Sorry. We tracked him down, but it was already too late. No, it can't be true. That big idiot, always carrying his bag around, thinking about me all the time. I'm getting very sad. Oh God, this can't be happening. <sighs> oh boy. It saddens this old tome to think we'll never hear those two at each other's throats again. If only I'd gotten to him sooner. Damn it. Do not let it burden you so, lad. You did the best you were able. <sighs> so now the objective is to return to Popola. Alright. Let's go talk to Popola. Oh, that got me really, really sad. I won't lie to you guys. Really sad. We're back, Popola. Shades on the coast, the ferryman dead. You've had quite the rough trip. Yeah. That poor ferryman used to tell me stories of the epic quarrels he had with his wife. He found the whole thing quite amusing. He loved her, though. I'm gonna miss he him. He loved her with all that he was. I'm very sad to hear that he's gone. Still, you made it back safe, and I'm glad for that. Have you any new information about the key to the Shadow Lord's castle? I'm still working on the decryption, but I'm afraid progress has stalled. Uh. Loyal Cerberus might refer to a dog, but I've never seen anything that would fit the bill. It must be pretty complicated if even you can't decode it. Well, you're our last hope, so please keep trying, okay? I will. By the way, I was walking by your house earlier and I noticed you had some mail. You might want to check it out. Thanks. I'll do that. Okay, let's go check the mail. Oh, Interesting. One last thing. Yes. Since the ferryman was missing work, I arranged for someone else to handle the job. I'll make sure they know to let you use the boat as before. Gotcha. Thank you. So we can still fast travel. Okay, Even so... Even those we have lost, the world relentlessly continues to turn. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So, uh, yeah, let's go check the mail. I'm curious. What is that about? Official notice, as per rule 25656. Is this from Facade? Please consider this your official notice that the King of Facade, yeah, they love those rules, has chosen to enter into a ceremony of matrimony. Please lodge all objectives and or congratulations through the official channel state in rule 38585. Sincerely, the Facade Royal Office of Marriage and other legally uh, legal, so you bind in contracts and concerns. P.S. Hey guys, it's me. <laughs> all of a sudden, it's like all down to earth. Hey guys, it's me, the King of Facade. Sorry, this is all formal and stuff. Listen, I'm getting married. Congratulations, man. Uh, I guess he's a man now, right? It's been five years. And I really want you to come. So get over here. Yeah, we'll go. We are invited to the King of Facade's wedding. How cool is that? The King is getting married. Uh, does this old book good to see a boy become a man? <laughs> Probably not a good idea to turn down a wedding invitation from a king. I agree. Let's go to Facade. Heck yeah! So, next episode will be interesting. We will go to the wedding. 
All right, guys, that is it for today. Even though there was not a lot of progress in terms of the main story, we did not find uh, the fifth fragment. The events today was so interesting. It was a bit sad, of course, but also intriguing. I enjoyed this episode. And in the next episode, we are heading to Facade to the wedding of the king. How fun is that? I'll see you soon. Thank you very much for watching.